Okay. Uh, hi everyone. So my name is Felipe. I'm a third year uh, PhD student uh, at WMG, and it's a great pleasure to be here to share with you the idea of the Sustainable Work Network, also called SWAN. So uh, I think to, to begin with, I'd like to share with you a bit of the story and the inspirations that led us to create such an initiative. So last year, uh, I had the great opportunity of attending a conference in green chemistry and meeting uh, NESI, which is a global network uh, of early career scientists and engineers working in sustainability. And the way that, the way that they work is basically connecting different uh, researchers across uh, a number of uh, areas and put them together to collaborate and develop new initiatives. Uh, can be either through the realization of the sustainable science groups, which are localized uh, initiatives in, at different universities. We have some examples here in the UK, for example, New York, uh, in Nottingham, and also uh, NESI works by providing researchers working in this area of sustainability with uh, tools such as webinars and seminars in which they can develop uh, new uh, skills uh, which are related to sustainability. And well, when I came back from this conference, I was did the change? Yeah. I was really committed to engage with something like that because I thought it was a great way to impact our uh, postgraduate community, especially uh, 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 those working in, in sustainability. However, I was surprised to see that although we had a number of ways to engage with sustainability on campus in different spheres, so from the university level, academic level, and also a number of societies working in sustainability, I was really surprised to see there was nothing really aimed for postgrads, although we represent 40% uh, of the student force on campus. So I discussed uh, with some, uh, just having some issues to change the slides, so I might switch to the keyboard. So um, I came back and discussed it with some friends about how uh, such network, how such a idea could uh, collaborate to our uh, daily research life, and we find out, we realize that by having a network or a community of prospects working together in uh, sustainability related topics, we could basically burst the bubble to isolate ourselves in our uh, research. It can be in our departments, in our research groups, our daily topics of, of uh, investigation, but we, we often catch ourselves uh, struggling to progress in our uh, own topics and then looking for help, and sometimes looking for help at different institutions, uh, different countries, or even overseas. And sometimes you find the answer just across the block. And because we are not connected, and we don't know exactly what's going on in terms of uh, research, uh, sometimes we struggle to find an easy uh, solution for our problems. So we identified that there was a gap in terms of how we could maximize research uh, impact through collaboration. And this is the gap that SWAN is trying to fill. So uh, as a network, our mission is to connect early career researchers working at different departments in uh, sustainability-related topics across the university and impact the campus not only academically, but also socially speaking. And we have as a vision a highly collaborative research community in which everyone are uh, united and tackling together uh, 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 the challenges of working with sustainability. And as visions for, uh, and values of our uh, network, we're really uh, deeply committed with collaboration, integration, and empowerment of uh, scientists. So uh, with this, we applied for the graduate school funding for uh, postgraduate post experience enhancement. And we're really uh, pleased to get this funding, which is allowing us to start organizing our uh, fiscal meetings. So I would like to invite you for the first of them, which will take place next Friday uh, from half past 10 to half past 11 at the graduate. So for those that don't know, is the space uh, just next to Dirty Duck. And what we are aiming to do is basically to provide uh, postgrads and also early career fellows with uh, a really open and friendly environment in which people can discuss ideas, discuss 
uh, not only what they're doing in terms of research, but spe especially the challenges they're having and how people, people from different backgrounds can collaborate in order to uh, maximize the research impact. Uh, also, although it's focused for postgrads and early career fellows, we also welcome uh, undergrad students that are interested in knowing a bit more about what's going on in sustainability in terms of research and how they can uh, contribute and get uh, some sort of a first contact with it. And also senior uh, staff, which is interested in collaborating with us by providing their technical expertise. And if you are interested in taking place of our, in our first event, I invite you to visit our website, so go.oric.ac.uk slash swan. And then you'll be able to know a bit more about us and also uh, register for our first event. So apart from this one, we'll be uh, ha uh, having four more events along the academic year. And of course, I couldn't finish this presentation without acknowledging the people who is uh, involved in this initiative. So we are all uh, PhD students and early career research fellows. And as you can see, we are a really diverse and multidisciplinary team. And I think this is a core approach towards sustainability. As we've just been discussing throughout the day, uh, sustainability demands a collaborative effort and people from different backgrounds working together. So this is what I would like to invite you to take place. And also, this is slightly different from a society. We don't want to organize this in a way that we have like a president and executive board. You know, it's one, everyone is treated as people and everyone can equally contribute towards the organization of the events and provide ideas, provide uh, ideas for seminars, workshops, and can collaborate towards a greater goal, which is uh, uh, maximizing research impact. So with that, I'd like to finish and thanks uh, the Environmental Sustainability for the great opportunity of being here and also thanks the Graduate School for the funding and also Nancy for the intellectual support. And again, if you are interested for more information and taking place in our events, please be welcome to visit our website and know more about us. Thank you.